What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts, it takes a lot of motivation and you need to have the heart to get back to the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined, and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it at top level in anything you do. It's given me a discipline, it's given me something to die for. What does it take? Final bout before the interval. It is Sean D. And opposing him in the red corner with the black shorts of Roy Quinn. Boxing for McDonald's Scott. They go round number one, about number ten. My tag up, Scott Boston Club Home Show here at Lone Head. You're watching JTV Live. The low shot, the red corner, and Sean Dean and the blue offset a quick start. A shout out to Yes and Shorty as Lewis Shot, his mum's watching, mum and dad watching from Spain. Well, I hope the stream stays um, consistent for you if not be it tonight. Big shots coming from these two, they both need to watch their guard. Oh, we'll be getting an early finish to this. Great 
Watch out. Here they come up. Through the blue. One of Sean Dean trying to respond. Both big lads. Need to try and keep the energy right to the end, but they both look fit enough. I've seen that in the, the last bout. Um, both guys relentless right to the end. But this is shaping up to be a great bout. You see a uh, little shot there. The red using that ring space well, no standing. And just waiting for those punches to come. Take a wee breather in between unloading himself. Final 10 seconds now around number one. A uh, great opening uh, round. Um, again, I'm, I'm glad I, I, I was there. I made the decision. Come, I'm glad I was able to come. Um, even though it was a bit last minute, we penciled it in. Couldn't guarantee that I was going to get gifts at the beatboxing show last night. Uh, Renfrew show on Friday. Um, so, guys, you're watching GT Grimes coverage of the Tiger Scott. We've also got home show here at Lonehead uh, Miners Welfare Club. Uh, with me, Jamie Alexander O'Neill. In the description, there's some links. If you do want to support our GoFundMe, it gets us through from events. It was 80 quid in a taxi. I'm not like, uh, I, that's the taxi driver went, I'll take you for 80 quid. And I really wanted to be here uh, for Dunfermline. I brought all my equipment. Um, and Craig Stevens promised to drive me home back to Glasgow. Um, so you can support us, make sure we can, we can cover more events. I would cover three or four a week if I could. I don't drive. We will go round number two. Loose shot in the red corner from Target Scott and Sean Dean from Den Beef. Boxing Cup in the blue corner. Very close opening round, but here we go. Loose shot on load. Sean Dean, who I'm guessing is related to Ryan Dean, who boxed in the last last uh, bout. And again, he's got these straight big lefts and rights. Um, Lewis just getting caught there. There we go, Lewis fighting back. There's a lot of power coming from from Sean. And there we go, Lewis. That's what he needs to do. Use that ring space. Get out of the way. Let your opponent tie himself out. There we go. Nice work there from Lewis. Handed some big shots. There you go, he's going around that ring, forcing his opponent to fall on round. And some big shots there landing from the blue corner. Sean Dean just sticking to that. Oh, wow, great uh, work there from Lewis, shot in the red. But Sean Dean just sticking to those, those straight shots. Um, Always a put it in the ring, um, but Lewis doing well there um, to to retaliate and throw some big big shots of his own. Um, I think for me it's one apiece. Um, that round there, I think um, Sean Dean was just kept it kept the pressure up on. Uh, Lewis through the ring, but Lewis finding some big shots. Um, so that round would have been close, but I think for me, just the uh, blue corner first round for me, I think um, Lewis done enough. So we're going to third round. Um, still all we play for, we see what can happen in the, in the last bit, came right down to the third round. So um, I'm not saying that's what's going on here. I don't know what the judges are scoring. I wish I had a wee screen that told me. Um, but we'll, we'll see what happens in round number three. Uh, Lewis shot in the red corner, Sean Dean in the blue. Big Tiger Scott versus Ten Beef. Round number three. Yeah. 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 
Wilson is just going to try and up the pace a bit. Lewis, there we go, he's stepping back, which is good. So he's getting a bit scrappy now. Um, Lewis, that's what he needs to do. Throw that left, take a step back. Your opponent will eventually get tired. He can't keep throwing and missing. The shot, nice work there from, from Lewis. He was right in Sean's face and then took that step back just as he needed to. Sean, he's nearly tripped up there, uh, Lewis taking advantage of it. Wow, another um, great bout. <laughs> you know, Mitsaga, Fox has got home short. Referee keeping a close eye. And this might come right down to the wire, as I said. I've got it one apiece connected this round. Um, don't know what the judges have got, but I think it'll be close. Pace is slowed in ever so slightly, but Lewis finding success even if he's on the back foot. Um, Sean throwing a big shot there. Sean needs to get out of that corner. Oh, this is going to be close, man. Sean throwing a few lands in there, found the success, some landed on the gloves, Lewis now responding. You can see these both guys are shattered and that's a bell. Uh, well done both these guys, I have no idea how the judges are going to call it, um, but both of them done themselves proud. Past to Craig Stephen and the ring, international sports announcer and JTV Live Scottish ring announcer of the year. Even the Scottish ringing out, so it was ringing out sort of the year. Um, we'll pass the Craig Stephen with the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, as always here this afternoon, before we declare the result, please your appreciation for both our boxers. We go to our judges ringside where we have a four to one split decision. Going in favour of the winner in the blue corner, Sean D. And please, ladies and gentlemen, as we often say, it takes two to make a contest. Your appreciation, the Dagger Scots, Lewis Short. Right, before we cut to the, the break, uh, we've got Lewis Short. Um, his mum and dad are watching in Spain. Um, so cheers for tuning in. Um, and there was a full one-spot decision. I, I couldn't call it. I didn't know which way it was going to go. It was very close. Both fees were, were signing into the end. Um, and it must, you must feel gutted to go through all that and not get it win. But you can keep your head up high, my man. Uh, but what, what's your thoughts? Well, the first fight I had, I didn't go the distance. So I was happy to just go the distance. I could see he was gassing out, but it's all different for training. I was gassed out as well. And it was just to the man who wanted to swing the most and keep himself conducted. But uh, I think the better man won. But as I say, I look close to myself, but it was a good fight and I'm proud to still go in the ring. It's brilliant man, you can watch it back later and, and, and just see, but I don't know what else you could, you could have done, the both of you really put everything in it and stayed right into the end, I was feeling for you so I could win, is that bell going to ring man? Um, but that's what it is, you got a lot of family support here, anybody you want to shout out, your mum and dad, uh, but any, anybody else you want to shout out? Uh, no, just uh, well and everyone turning up today, everyone tuned in and all you need is the support for these fights and help to come for financially and stuff as well so at the end of the day anyone that steps in the ring should be proud and uh, I think we've had some brilliant fights today. 
I agree, man. I agree. Listen, I'll let you go and rest and, and celebrate as well, Max. You can you can keep your head up. Five guys after this. <laughs> you deserve it, my man. You deserve it. Um, so thank you for talking to me. And I'll catch up with you again shortly. Yeah.